Properties of Excel formatting can significantly impact the speed and clarity in which users can work with and interpret your spreadsheets. Formatting enables you to highlight essential information, direct users, and encode data. Now, effective formatting subtly enhances usability, while poor formatting can be nothing but a distraction. Let me show you the formatting that drives me crazy. By default, in Excel, numbers are aligned right and text aligned left. Don't mess with numbers by centering them. Keep the ones, tens, and hundreds lined up so they're easy to read. If you have numbers in the thousands or higher, put a comma separator in them. It just makes them instantly easier to read. If the numbers are greater than a thousand, the decimals are immaterial. Round them so the important information is easy to see. Repetition of currency labels just adds unnecessary noise. Instead, label the header of the column, and if there's a chance it could be confused with other currencies that share the same symbol, add the currency name. I've said it before, merged cells are a pain in the For example, if I want to sum the values in this column, the minute I hit a merged cell, my range gets messed up. Now I know I can hold control and select non-contiguous ranges, but that's just more work than I need to do. And if I make a mistake, it's a pain. Instead, you should be using center across selection. So with it selected, I'm going to control one. On the alignment tab, you want center across selection. When you format cells like this, entering a sum and referencing the column is super easy and quick. Avoid making people turn their head to read labels where possible. These tables are more time consuming to interpret because the region labels are off to one side and require more effort to read than these labels. These labels allow you to read in a logical top to bottom order. I've never worked out why people zoom way out on a worksheet only to then increase the font size so they can read it, but I see it a lot. The only thing it achieves is smaller font in the column and row labels, but they hardly take up much space anyway. If you must zoom out, simply stop when you can still read the font. Too many fonts, serif fonts, comic sans, and the like are all inappropriate for most business scenarios. Keep it simple and stick to no more than three different fonts in a spreadsheet, and choose fonts that are easy to read and complement one another. Or, instead of different fonts, you could use different font sizes or bold to differentiate headings, etc. Here's an anonymized example of a real workbook I was sent by someone asking for Excel help. The colored headings are way too much, plus the pink and red fill colors make the font very difficult to read. Color is a great tool to categorize data and communicate information, but you can do it with subtle colors too. Or, consider whether you need every column colored, because when everything is colored, Nothing stands out. By default, Excel has grid lines turned on, so there's no need to add cell borders to a table. These extra borders unnecessarily bloat your file and create a busy workspace. If you want to hide the grid lines for the header area, simply select the cells and give them a white fill color. That way, we don't need these grid lines here. This will result in a much smaller file and you won't have the hassle of grid lines disappearing if you cut and paste a cell. And if you want to see grid lines when you print, you can turn them on on the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup dialog, on the Sheet tab, and then Grid Lines. That way, when you print, they'll print too. If you have some formatting gripes, please share them in the comments. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more.